Ay, ay, ay. Hi everyone, it is time for another first impression. Who would have thought? I don't know how many first impressions I've done this week, but we are still far from done, so today we're going to be using the Blush Tribe Neon Palette. I think that's what it's called, Neon Dreams. So I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit just nervous about this one because I know how hard neons are to formulate and I have not had very good experiences with neon shadows in the past, so I was very on the fence on ordering this palette because I just... You know, with it being so hard, I just don't have very high expectations for this and that has nothing to do with it being Blush Tribe. I absolutely love Blush Tribe and I would love to see them come through with this palette, but like I said, I don't have like super high expectations, so... <laughs> 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 We're just gonna have to kind of see how this goes, so... Again, as for all of my first impressions, I will leave a link down to the website down below if you want to know more about this product, but we are going to get into some swatches. So that is what we're gonna do. Again, I'm not like expecting these swatches to be very good, but we'll just see. I, I need to I need to be more positive, you know? <laughs> I feel like I need to give this palette more credit before starting because my hopes are like down here right now. So. <laughs> All right, so let's get into some swatches now. I'm just gonna swatch this the way that I always do, just going from left to right, top to bottom. Okay, so first impression wise, honestly, these swatches look pretty good for being neon shadows, especially pressed ones. So we're gonna have to see how they do on the eyes. I still don't have like the highest expectations because previously with my experience with neons, I haven't tried that many. I've tried some pigments and stuff, but what I have found is that they don't really like to blend. <laughs> So you can put one next to the other and be fine, but as soon as you start trying to either build them up or you try to blend them into each other, they just won't have any of it. So we're gonna have to see what happens. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Okay, so let's try this palette now. I mean, looking at these shadows, I just, I get really happy looking at something this bright. So hopefully these are going to be good. So we're gonna start off by taking the... Uh, yellow that's called it's called a yellow we're gonna take the yellow which is called ruhina and i think all of these are names of other influencers and i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing any of them it's just because i don't know who any of these are so sorry but we're gonna be taking the yellow and we're gonna be placing that in the inner third of my crease i think i'm going to do like a three colored crease because that should really put them to the test and see if they are able to blend into each other and i'm really just going to pack this on and I'm kind of using a lot of pressure, really trying to press this into my skin. I mean, already I feel like my eye is definitely not as vibrant as, you know, it is in the pan. Yes, I could have used a white base. I also don't like to use a white base, so this is what we are working on. And I really do think that these are the kind of shadows that are just going to look better on top of a cut crease or something like that. I mean, it's yellow. Is it super bright? Not really. So for my next shadow, I'm gonna dip into Rufia and I wanna try like the brightest ones just to see how well they perform. And I'm going to put that in the middle part of my crease. And I mean, so far we are doing pretty much as expected. I really feel like the colors just don't transfer as bright on the eyes as they do in a pan and they also just sheer out a lot when you go in and you try to even just this is the first shadow that I'm putting down it's not like I'm trying to blend it into you know powders I'm putting it on top of tacky base and I first just press it in and then I go in and just blend gently but at the same time it still just doesn't show up as bright as I would have hoped like I don't mean to be like negative about this, but is it just me or is it just not as vibrant as it is in the pan? Like I really don't want to be negative about this. I really want this to work out so bad and maybe I'm just in a bad mood today, but I just don't feel like this is all that great. But we're gonna next go into the blue shadow, which is called Sama. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with that shadow as I did with the others. I'm just gonna put that on the outer part of my eye hair. 
Ooh, now see, this is pretty. Like, that's, that's vibrant. And this was also the shadow that swatched the best, the blue. I thought that would swatch pretty good. And it looks like it translates to the eye as well. And as I say that, and I go in and try to blend this, it definitely loses some of the vibrancy that it did have. I'm also going to pack this on the outer corner here. I mean, it's it's blue, it's not terrible. I just wish that it would be more vibrant, you know? Like, none of the shadows are looking patchy or anything like that, and they seem to, you know, stick to my eye, which is good, and probably more than I expected, to be fair. But I just, I really wanted this to be like super in your face, so what should I do next? Let's go for the ultimate test. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I feel like it's not going to work. But I'm gonna go into Nadia and I'm going to try to deepen up the outer corners for this. I have a feeling this is not going to stick to my eye, but well, let's see what happens and really test this palette out. And I'm gonna take a bit of a denser brush here and I'm just going to pack that right on top of that blue outer corner here. And like, do you see how sheer that color is? Like, I feel like this is turning into like a watercolor painting on my eye. Like, it's just... So, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't want this to happen and it sucks that I have to post this because I know that the owner is probably going to watch this and she's not going to be happy with me because I once said something bad in a video and she commented on my video. So now I'm like, scared of her. But we're gonna we're gonna go in on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with some more of my Mac Paint Pot, just to give these shadows something to stick to. And I, I am gonna go in and fix the lid after. But I'm gonna probably pull in some shimmers just to make this look a little bit better. So for the outer part of my lower lash line, I think I want to do pink and orange, perhaps. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to dip into Lila, and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of my lower lash line. So again, very sheer compared to, you know, the swatch here. This is the shadow that I used on my arm. This is on my eye. Um, you know, it is what it is. And for the last shadow, I'm going to dip into Andrea, which is this kind of very bright neon orange. And I'm going to put that on the first half here of my lower lash line. Again, it just shears out as soon as I put it on the eyes. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a half cut crease and I'm gonna use my white P. Louise base because I just, I need to see how these work when, you know, doing this correctly. So I'm gonna do a quick half cut crease and now we're gonna see how these are going to lay on top of this. Okay, so I'm fully expecting this to not really be like a wearable look when I'm done because I need to go in with some colors that just aren't really going to look that great on top of this. But I think to start off, I'm going to take, what should I even do with this? I'm really so confused right now. I did not think this through. All I knew I wanted to do was do a cut crease. <laughs> so let's just go in with Maya, I suppose, and just pack that on the first half of the lid. And I'm really just going to pack this on. I will not be doing any kind of blending with this. And I'm going to try to get this as vibrant as I can possibly get it. I mean, so far this is looking way better. But this is also a different shade, so I don't know if it's just this one that's better. So like, that worked beautifully, but what really annoys me is that, you know, I want to use these shadows in different ways. I don't want this to be 
the only thing that I can do with neons is to either put them on top of a cut crease or mix them in with a pigment and use them as a liner because I want to use them as eyeshadows, you know? I want to be able to use them as a crease color and still have it be vibrant if I pack it on and I want to be able to put it in my inner corner and still have it stand out and I want to be able to do so many things for them and I just feel like neons are just so restrictive in what you can really accomplish with them and that you can only really do certain kind of looks using neon shadows which you know it's kind of a shame but that did work really well so I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna give that purple another chance and I'm gonna take what was this called Nadia and I'm going to pack that on the rest of my lid So I am seeing a little bit of patchiness right here. I keep trying to go on top and layer more and it just does not want to stick. So even on top of this, that purple is still having a bit of a hard time. And you can see now that it's starting to get like patchy. The more I go in and I try to pack this on, it just doesn't really want to stick properly. So I need to pull in something else just for the outer corner here. It's just not looking that great. So I'm going to take my Violet Voss Rainbow Palette and I'm going to use one of the purples in here. I'll probably go in with indigo and I'm going to use that to just kind of make the outer edges a little bit more blended and to cover up a little bit of that patchiness. So I mean this is just not looking that good either so I'm tempted to honestly just like start over and start from scratch and see where we end up because I'm just not very happy with this so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wipe this off. I know I just I don't know, I just, I need to give this another chance. I feel like I haven't given it enough of a chance. So I'm going to just wipe all of this off and then I will be back with my eyes primed again and we can start all over. All right, so we are going to try this again. You know what, I'm actually going to use my uh, white peel wee space as my primer today because I'm sure some people are going to ask me what would happen if I did that. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we are just going to go with the foolproof way this time and I'm basically just going to pack a shadow all over my lid and try to blend it into my crease a little bit and see what happens. So let's go with, what should we use? Let's do Vanessa. I have not tried that yet and I feel like this is going to be one. Actually, you know what? I don't want to try the best shade. I want to try Nadia. I'm going to go back in with that purple again and I'm going to try to pack this all over my lid and we're just going to see what happens. And if it doesn't work this way, I give up. I mean, so far so good, but the problem is going to be if I go in with a fluffy brush and I try to blend this into my crease, I feel like this is going to really sheer out and start looking patchy. But let's just, let's just, you know, keep a positive mindset, see what happens. I'm so sorry this video has been so negative. I don't know if it's my mood or if it's just because of this palette, but I can't really tell. So I'm next going to go in with that same shadow on a small fluffy brush, and I'm going to start trying to blend this out now. So I mean, that actually worked pretty well, but my problem right now is that underneath my brow is looking absolutely ridiculous because it's all white. So I'm gonna have to go in with some kind of a nude colored eyeshadow or something like that to just make that look a little bit less frightening. If you use a white base, how do you deal with that? I've always wondered, like that is my main pet peeve. If I try to put something on top of a white base is that I don't like how it looks underneath my brow. I don't like a very intense, like carved out brow with white. I just I don't think it looks very, it's not like I'm trying to go for natural, but you know what I mean? Like it just looks so fake and I don't like that look. So let me know if you have a suggestion for that. So I guess what I'll do is, is this starting to look really patchy again? Ooh, that is not good. I don't even know how that happened. It's not like I touched my lid, but do you see right here? And then right here? Oof, that's not good at all. I don't even know what to do anymore. I, I really don't know what to do. I don't know if I'll be able to save this at all. I'm gonna try to go in with more of that purple and just pack this on top here again. 
I really hope this translates on camera because to me I just have a giant streak of like a dark purple in my crease and then the rest is just like very sheer. Right here is very sheer. It's looking very patchy. It's looking really patchy right here as well. Let me try to get a close-up so you can actually see what is going on right now. I hope that you are able to see what I see because it is just, it's not looking very good. So I, I literally don't even know if I can fix this in any way. Um, <laughs> wow, today is just such a struggle and I... I don't know, we might just uh, call it quits right here because I really don't feel like trying to make this palette work anymore because I'm just, I'm just over it honestly. I just, I don't feel like trying to save this because I just don't feel like I'll be able to. So I think we're just going to call this good with this palette. I'm so sorry. I am like terrified of posting this video. So I think we're just gonna call this palette a flop. I'm so sorry Blush Try, but I just, I. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say, so thank you so much for watching this video, I suppose. I hope you enjoyed it, even though this was very much a fail. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll just see you guys in my next video and hopefully that will go a lot better and we will just forget that this ever happened. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.